What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well and enjoyed my last video about the Q&A session and you learned something new from it. As I promised on this video, I'm going to update every three months that we haven't been active in the YouTube channel about our analysis channel recap. And this video is about the month of November. We were active in our analysis channel. We were having all these live sessions on both London session and New York session, but we just haven't been active in YouTube. I went back to the analysis channel and got a recap for only the month of November and the update. This is not including the setups that we call in live sessions because the only setups that are ready to enter and are good to go will be shared in analysis channel and anything that you know needs to be waiting for a specific price to be met or any other condition it's just in live trading session and i really can't have a recap for that i put all these analysis in three different categories based on the result of the analysis the first category is inactive trades inactive trades are basically the setups that we call but before price move anywhere uh, we get we got different confirmation and we cancel the analysis. The second would be break even trades. In this type of analysis, trade went to our favor, but it came back and took us out in break even. The third would be losing trades. Obviously, there's no explain for that. It hit our stop loss, no problem. And the last one would be winning trades, and that's the trades that went and hit the TP. And when I mean TP, some of them is TP1, some of them is TP2, and some of them is also uh, much more than our TP. I tried to cover them, but in terms of calculation, I only um, calculate the amount of pips that we called based on the take profit, not what they actually moved. Let's not waste any more time and get into the session. The first section we're going to talk about is not activated trades. We had five different trades that did not get activated, usually because the break and retest or the pullback didn't happen in a way that we want, or simply we get different price action from the original um, signal or, um, yeah, that would be the signal from price action that we got. The second would be break even trades. We had four break even trades that passed more than what we risked so it allowed us to go break even but anyway didn't reach the tp and came back to the entry as a result we didn't lose any money and it was break even now the losing trade we had 10 losing trade on that month this 10 losing trade was all based on our plan okay so we did have the max 30 pips stop loss and you can see it's all in a range of 20 pips or 30 pips. Personally, I was in with less than some of them. In, for example, NZD USD, I was in with less than 20 pips. But to keep it safe in our analysis channel, we um, set it in about 20 pips. Uh, something to learn here. First of all, losses are the lessons. So as long as we learn something new to help us have a better um analysis or a better entry it's all good second the win should be more than losses so if we win bigger than our losses again 10 loss is no problem and the third thing that is very important here is the fact that we stick to our limits which is 30 pips stop loss and we never go over it even in a usd czar trade we try to stick to the equivalent of 30 pips which was 300 pips and yeah that's pretty much it for um losing trade uh personally on some of these trade like this nzd usd i got in with less than 20 pips but what we said was 20 pips because uh, keeping, keeping it safe a little bit now the winning trades um the first one would be aud usd um, I saw this seller's trap up here start of the week and then we had a We had our analysis that price gonna reach that high with 90 pips um, TP price reached that area um, by midweek But overall by the time that I'm recording this video right now, which is in February um, Price is already up 490 pips 
why I put it there to show you our analysis can become a swing trading too. But um, because I'm not a swing trader and I don't hold trade that long, um, I don't really mention it. But yeah, it's all there. The next one would be a USD JPY trade that Neo called and Euro CHF trade that was called by Elvin in our analysis channel. Um, the Euro CHF hit the TP of 130 pips after the seller's trap on macro. We had one single candle that did most of the job. And also in USD JPY up here, we had 190 pip take profit that was hit. A very good trade this one and I'll show you in the next slide that um, we took this 190 pip to the upside and then price went into consolidation as you can see here from the signature trade stop on the high and then shift from that high. We got all the confirmation we needed on lower time frame and we called the sell right in um, live trading session and TP 460 pip was hit again i'm not a swing trader so i personally got in here and closed on friday got in again on tuesday and closed on wednesday so it's really depend on how you manage it but the analysis was sent prior to the setup we had gbp aud this one was a macro induction trade it took only uh it went all the way to tp2 only which was 160 pips the next one we have USD, um, NZD USD and AUD USD. Uh, we call these two trades separately, one by me, one by Neil, but uh, both of them played out up to TP1, 50 pips on each, total of 100 pips on these two. And we have Euro GBP. This one also was a 75 pip move. Um, macro induction again on this one. Um, we saw this traps and we got the confirmation we needed and we got it So the last one here is a euro index trade by um, it's not actually a trade. It's analysis by Elvin he is really working on this index pretty hard and We kind of predicted this euro move which resulted in a big bullish move on most of the euro pairs but because I couldn't really calculate the pairs and um, sorry the pips and points, I didn't even put it into our calculation. Just have it there that we send this as a recap. To sum it up, we had 230 pips in losing trades. We had 905 pips in winning trade. And that brings us to total of 675 pips for the month. It might not sound uh, crazy amounts of pips, but that's the honest one, number one. And number two, um, November, December, and even January was not really um, a huge crazy month for at least me. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. Hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I share other videos just like this one. If you want to learn more about our live trading session or how to become a GPG University member, there will be all the links down in the description. So check it out and I hope to see you in our free community very soon. Peace.